$3 gas is back in California, Hawaii, and now New York. The cost has been making a steady uptick over the past few weeks. This is crude oil prices hold steady around $62 a barrel, and analysts are saying drivers should expect some more gas hikes with the coming spring and summer driving season. NBC's Michael Oku is at a gas station in Toluca Lake, California, mild stomping ground. So, Michael, where do the prices stand where you are? Well, I can tell you, Alex, that the phrase we normally use is sticker shock. But today what we've seen is certainly a little bit of outrage and a lot of frustration. If you talk to the experts, they will tell you that this is the wild, wild west when it comes to prices. Why are they saying that? Well, take a look at these numbers. Uh, regular unleaded, a gallon is going to cost you $3.13. $3.13. That is five cents uh, higher than where it was uh, just yesterday. Now, it's still a little higher than what the state averages are. Take a look at the numbers around the state. That will run you about $2.99 a gallon if you're buying at some gas station in California. That is still uh, basically about 40 cents more than what you were paying about a month ago. A look at the national numbers. A gallon of unleaded gas will cost you about $2.52. Now, that's a little uh, lower than what the historic highs are, but it's still about 33 cents more than what you were paying about a month ago. Alex, all day we've been talking to customers here and they've been telling us that they are frustrated. One person says that, you know, I get gas to go to work and now I'm working to go to work. I'm trying to work overtime to afford these prices. There is a woman I spoke to who was filling up her SUV. It cost her $73 to fill it up. Her husband, who has a different car, said it cost him $80 to fill up uh, just yesterday. Unless you think this is just just about SUV drivers spending a lot of money. There was a fellow who was driving a Honda Accord. It said it cost him $47 to fill it up. And those people are driving high performance vehicles. They say they normally get the highest grade of gasoline. They say we're switching to the cheaper stuff. That's expensive enough, Alex. I tell you, the electric car can't come back fast enough. Michael Oku, thank you very much for bringing it to us.